What we're looking for are people who have a lot of compassion, people who are sensitive to the elderly. We're just looking for people who are able to show love and care for someone who can no longer do the things they used to do. And that caregiver is gonna to need to know what it is to be committed to their job and have the caring and understanding that's necessary to actually be an accomplished caregiver. Their job is not easy, but it's so rewarding. And the connection that they build with their um, with their clients is unbreakable. You really do form awesome relationships with clients. I love helping people, so it comes very easy for me to do this job and just the small things, that's what people need. Somebody that listens to them, somebody who cares. It's a lot of fun. Once you get into a routine and you get used to what you're doing, it's the job is so much fun. We work with such a vulnerable community. We need to be able to depend on the caregiver to show up on time. We need to be able to know that that caregiver is there for the right reasons, to, to share God's love and to be of service to someone else. We are looking for people with a servant heart. During our training, we go through all aspects of, of what they might encounter during um, um, their, their caregiving activities. It can be emotional and physical and it's extremely busy and you have to be able to really think on your feet. Communication is a big part of what we do with our caregivers. Uh, we try to keep them fully informed of who the client is, any likes and dislikes, uh, basically everything about that client. The communication is our biggest key uh, to ensuring success for the client and the caregiver. We have a 24-hour on-call. So if you have questions, um, you can always call that and someone will always answer. There has to be a lot of love from the caregiver, a lot of uh, compassion, and the ability to work with just about anybody to do this job. The caregiver has to be able to ascertain what they need, how they need it done, and do it with joy and love so that that client feels that they're there for them. People are not numbers. You cannot look at people as a payday um, you can't look at them as an object. They are people and they have feelings and it's important that you take that into consideration and I think Good Samaritan does a really good job with that. You build a bond, you feel like you're helping a loved one. It turns into way more than just a job. It's very rewarding and I do think people either know that they're that caregiving type of person or they're not. When you leave there, how rewarding it is, I mean, that you just did, even if you're just there for personal cares, that's, you're there so that they can be in their home and not in a nursing home. It keeps me out of the nursing home wasn't for home care, I wouldn't be able to do this. That's rewarding enough to make it so enjoyable.